It's day two of the Future Blockchain Summit at Dubai Harbor. I'm Renella Hernandez and I'm sitting here with Faraz, who is from Gaff Capital and Gaff Labs. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. What do you think so far of the expo? Um, I think this is a beautiful event, um, full of energy, full of life. A lot of projects are here from all over the world. I've met a lot of projects that um, it's their first time actually in the region. So I'm very Where happy. Are you based? Who? Uh, we're, we're, we're based in Dubai, okay. um, but um, I was talking about like a lot of projects I saw from outside of Dubai in here for their first term. Yeah, yeah. And are there any insights that you can share with us? Something you've learned from any conversations you've had? I think there's a lot of exciting things in the market. The biggest players in the Web3 space right now are all based over here. So I think any conversation you have with them, you can get some good insights. Um, and yeah. Right, so tell me a little bit more about Gap Capital and what the mission is behind the private investment firm. Excellent. Um, Gap Capital is uh, one of the first private investment firms in the UAE. Uh, currently, we have invested in over 75 different portfolios. Um, uh, the likes of like Polygon, One Inch, Layer Zero, Guild of Guardians, all, all sectors of the Web3 industry. Um, uh, and our key focus is to support these projects um, help them grow, help them get access to the MENA region. Um, and we have a team that supports all these projects and speak to them on almost um, a, a very regular basis. And what's the strategy right now, given the current market conditions? Um, so right now, um, uh, um, the strategy is to build, to put your heads down and to focus on the project, supporting them, seeing what's missing with these projects um, and all our port codes. Um, and um, seeing if we're able to give a, a, a helping hand to them and um, help them achieve whatever they need to achieve in this bear market. But how do you choose companies to invest in? So we have a long list of DD process that we look at. We look at the team, um, uh, we look at um, who are the founders, what experience do they have, what background do they have, um, what's the structure of the team like. We look at their community, is it active? Is it um, dormant? Um, how big is it? We look at, um, uh, um, is it a real use case? Is the project, is it solving something in the market? Um, uh, will it, can it become a market leader? Uh, can it uh, become a, a, an educator and a, a game changer for the industry? Um, we also look at so many different aspects, such as um, we look at their PNL, like what the Web2 space says. Uh, we look at their financial statements. We look at their numbers. Can they achieve their goals? Um, uh, what's their runway like? There's a long process. I think our process is over 60 different points, um, but I'm just summing it down for you. And I know you mentioned that you work with companies across all sectors, but is there any one sector right now that you're looking at the most that maybe you'd like to lean into more? So I'm not a financial advisor, um, but um, uh, currently um, we're, we're looking mainly at infrastructure projects layer ones and layer twos. Can you give some examples? Um, uh, Sui Network, Boba Network. Um, these are our newer ones. And we have, of course, Polygon, Layer Zero, Shardium. Um, we have a few others. Um, I believe in infrastructure projects um, are uh, well capitalized. They have strong teams. Um, they run as a, 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 a proper company. They're able to support a lot of startups and projects, support them to grow. They have tech that is different than what's in the market right now. Each one's a key player to, to, to their industry. Um, so I, for, for me as a non-financial advisor, infrastructure. All right. And what are some of the biggest pain points right now within the industry that you think we need to address the most? Regulation. Um, um, we need to safeguard the investors. We need to safeguard the retail. We need to safeguard the founders. Um, and um, Safeguarding all these different aspects comes from regulation with education. Um, and I think this is one thing that uh, the UAE and Dubai is leading in, um, is regulation by education, supporting the industry, um, and um, trying to make sure that everyone is safe and educated and have the right path forward for whatever, if it's investor, retail, or founders. Right. And given that we are at the Future Blockchain Summit, I do have to ask, how do you envision the future of blockchain looking like? What would you like it to look like? Um, I think I, I can compare blockchain right now as I wasn't part of the internet bubble, 
um, I'm, I'm younger than that, but I've read a lot about it. So I can compare it to the internet bubble. Initially, when the internet first started, similarly with the blockchain, a lot of startups um, uh, emerge, a lot of funds has entered the market, um, and then it stabilizes um, and the bigger players uh, grow further. Startups learn from the bigger players, learn from the regulators and regulation, and um, everyone becomes a more stabilized um, uh, economy. Okay, so more stability. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you very much. Enjoy the thank conference. You.